Hello everyone, in this video we're going to have a quick look at vampire crab burrowing behaviour. After my last video I had a couple of questions asking how my vampire crabs can dig and burrow if I cover everything with moss, which is actually quite a good question. So to answer that question, vampire crabs aren't really that phased by the moss layer, they simply make little holes and burrow in it without any problems, which can be a little bit annoying if you're trying to keep a nice moss layer going. Honestly though, there's not really much you can do about it, and if you decide to fill in all the little holes, they'll just dig them back out again. Even if you trap them inside, they'll just push the soil out and there'll be a new hole as soon as you wake up in the morning. So basically, if you don't see your crabs for a little while, they've more than likely made themselves a nice little underground tunnel network somewhere inside your tank. More often than not, it'll be under some moss, next to some rocks, or under a log somewhere. They don't generally dig them out in the open all that much. The other interesting thing that I've noticed is that the babies and female crabs are the ones that do 95% of the tunneling and burrowing. From my experience, the males don't really seem to bother all that much. They're just as happy to hide underneath things, under leaves, inside hollows, inside caves. Though they will happily move into a burrow if they find an empty one they can steal. You'll also find that over time the burrows will generally get bigger. As the babies grow, they make bigger tunnels which generally leads to quite a lot more mess in the tank. So if you have a lot of babies, you're gonna have a lot of soil getting moved around and quite a lot of burrows forming. So the next question I get asked quite often on this topic is what soil types work best. So for soil types, I generally try to use cheap organic potting mixes, fern mixes and similar things. Just keep it really simple, as close to plain soil as you can is best. So far the crabs seem pretty happy. They don't seem to have any issues with cave-ins as the soil holds its structure pretty good. And it's also not too difficult for them to dig in as there's no big chunks of peat moss, rocks or other debris that gets in the way. So if you are in the process of building a tank, just keep it simple and you'll get pretty good results and save yourself a ton of time and money. If you haven't already seen the build video for this tank, do yourself a favour and check it out and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers everyone!